Welcome to another edition of the Denver Dan Show, my mile high homies. Let's get right into it. The first things first, the call made by Hercules Ed Hockley was not the fault of the Denver Broncos. So Raiders fans and Chargers fans, please quit crying. The Broncos are perched atop the AFC West where we belong and all the crying in the world won't get the Chargers a win. So you can blame the league, but the Broncos are undefeated as we get ready to battle the Saints who choked last week versus the Washington Redskins. New Orleans does not have the firepower or defense to handle the Broncos, so 3-0 is in the near future for Denver. The Raiders are about to implode as Lane Kiffin is hanging on by a thread, and a win over KC won't save his job. Speaking of KC, the clock is ticking for Herm Edwards. Charges have been formally filed in Georgia against Broncos wide receiver Brandon Marshall for a March incident involving his former girlfriend. Misdemeanor battery charges were filed in Fulton County, Georgia. No court date has been set. Marshall suffered a cut hand in the dispute at his Atlanta condo with Rashida Watley saying the woman's sister had attacked him with glass. Police were called to Marshall's condo three times between 7 and 1 a.m. that day. They arrived at 10.30 to find Watley accusing Marshall of attacking her. I don't think another suspension is on the horizon. The NFL usually is on top of this sort of thing, but we'll just have to see what the NFL does. Marshall just tied the NFL record for catches in the game. Dude. Let's get it together. The Denver Nuggets signed Sonny Weems to a contract, but us fans are waiting for the other shoe to drop. A big man is still needed in Denver. Earl Barron, Dikemi Mutombo, and Alonzo Mourning are still out there. The three of them could help the front line. The Colorado Rockets are just about done in the West. Jeff Francis has shut it down for the year. I hope Clint Hurdle and the front office has plans for the future or changes are needed. Don't forget the Raiders will always suck. That's your Denver Dan Show. Here's hoping that all your sunsets are blue and orange. Oh, what? What?